welfare from the U.S. taxpayer. USA Today reports $76 billion offshore in tax havens. And, and, and listen, Walmart's not free market. Walmart games economies. Walmart buys slave deals. Walmart lobbied for all these so-called free trade deals that are really tariffs on us so we can't compete. They go to China and other countries, have special deals to get things cheaper than anybody else can because they basically pay off the top generals from the PLA that are on these boards. Walmart, you know, does things like change a law so they can inject meat with water. So it looks like it weighs more to charge you more. Wonder why Walmart steak or chicken shrinks. Or they get the law changed, uh, was it 20 something years ago, where they could go out and, as before, it was called racketeering, and they'll tell 10, 15 egg producers in a region, we're going to sign a contract from you for the next five years to buy your eggs at this amount. But at any time we want, we can get out of that contract. You're like, well, you know what? We just want to do it. It's great. And then they go to a whole bunch of producers. So there's a glut and it produces so many eggs. They then come to them and say, you know what? We've decided you're the biggest manufacturer and the best you're going to now do that, and, and, and our accountants say you can do it at this cost where you make no money, but you don't violate the contract, and we're going to basically keep you in it. That's how Walmart operated. And then they get the cheapest eggs anybody's got. But once all the other egg producers are out of business, and once all the other businesses are out of business, and once the convenience store down the street is selling the same eggs Walmart's selling and doesn't have a choice, and so they can't undercut Walmart, Walmart starts jacking up the prices. And guess what? The convenience store is happy because there's no competition anyways. They jack them up with Walmart. And then Walmart comes in through another subsidiary and buys out the gas station. And then the real raping starts. <laughs> You see, Henry Ford had his, own, his problems, but he was a very smart man, and he wanted to build an economy that could buy his products. He wanted to industrialize North America. So he would sell Model Ts where he made a nice profit, but where they were so affordable, his employees could buy one. And then buy all the accessories and everything else. And then they got to enjoy the open roads. Uh, they got to get to work faster. They got to but he got a large part of their discretionary income forever. And they were loyal to him because he gave them employee discounts. That's a smart businessman, a win-win. Did it make him the richest industrialist at the time? Absolutely. But see, that's a win-win model where you give people a good deal, you take over. But the globalists don't want to give you a good deal. They want to hurt you. They want to shut down your farms and ranches. They want to shut down your five and dimes. They want to shut down your mom and pops. They want to shut down your downtown. And they want the doctor and the optometrist and the barber and the GMO McDonald's and the diabetes medication and everything in one shop, one house, one place. And just in case you try to go out and live in the sticks and raise your own goats and raise your own cows or have an outhouse or a chemical toilet, and you're going to beat the system doing that, put the solar panels out there, and you're going to have air conditioning, and you're going to have everything for free after you buy those solar panels one time. You're going to grow grapes. You're going to grow tomatoes. You're going to, and you're going to sell them to your neighbors. Guess what? We're going to send the tax police out. We're going to spend a million dollars having the feds do a sting on you, selling your neighbors those potatoes. Doesn't matter if you just made $1,000 selling those over a whole year to your neighbors. We're going to shut you down. We're not going to shut banks down shipping heroin and cocaine in. We're not going to ship, we're not going to stop big banks and globalist organizations shipping little kids out to be putting snuff films, begging for mommy while they get raped and tortured. No, we're going to shut you down. And if we catch you using medical marijuana in Kansas, we're going to give you 30 years in prison. And we're going to take your kids from you, lady. We, we gave you Crohn's disease with the vaccines. Now we're going to put you in a prison. 
and you're going to like it, and you better like it. People say, but Walmart's eating itself. You know, in the future, it'll have no customers, so everything will collapse. That's the game plan. Deindustrialize us, dumb us down, drug us up first before they release the bio weapons and wipe everybody out. We'll be back.